Level up, 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 level up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is a long overdue video. You guys have been asking me about the computer science program at University of the People, and I know that a lot of my um, videos have been based on the business administration. Um, course because I'm a business I was a business administration student at University of the People so I am now catering to the computer science majors yes I am in this video I'm going to be talking about you so if you are a computer science major and you want to know how you can complete your computer science degree in less than two years that's your bachelor degree in less than two years you are going to want to watch this video now my husband he is actually doing the computer science program with university of the people and i also wanted him to finish it in um, less than four years of course so i actually created a plan for him and i'm going to share this plan with you so if you are a computer science student and you want to know this plan stay tuned all right overview of the computer science uh, degree and all the courses that are actually required all right so i have split the courses in the different categories uh, over here i have the major required courses and then i have the electives the general education courses that are required and then the electives that are also required now your first term of so by the way you are required to do 40 courses in total to complete your bachelor of science um in any of the um any any, any course like right? whether it's computer science or business administration all right so keep that in mind you have 40 courses to complete now you must do there are 13 courses that you must end up doing with university of the people because they're not available on sophia or or some other reason right so let's start off with your first term your first term at university of the people you are going to need to do two compute two um foundation course for you to be considered a degree seeking student so you cannot transfer c courses before completing uh, these two courses well you can complete this your your additional courses before you cannot trans start transferring your courses until you have completed the two foundation courses now usually the foundation courses are for business for uh, computer science is going to be programming fundamentals as well as online education strategies all right so these two courses this is one major course and this is one general education course that you must do for your first term all right so once you have completed that then you can start transferring your credits now these are the major courses that you have to do um, within the computer science program this, these are required you have programming one and two computer system database one communication network web programming one operating system software engineering data structures web programming two database two um, operating system two comparative programming languages data mining and machine learning calculus and discrete mathematics these are required right now out of these major courses, Sophia has some of them available. So for programming one, if you do introduction to Python programming, it will be transferred over as programming one. For programming two, you can do introduction to Java programming and it's going to be transferred over to programming two. Um, for databases one, you can do introduction to relational databases. Uh, this is going to be transferred over to database one. Uh, for web programming, you can do introduction to web development. This is a very easy course, by the way. Uh, well, it was easy for me. Um, so, and it goes over to web programming one. All right. And then we have uh, calculus. This is uh, calculus one on Sophia Learning. Right. So the rest of them, though, you have to do them with University of the People or unless you can find another school that offers these courses. But for Sophia Learning, these are the ones that are currently available. So the ones that I have here in red, um, you have to do them with Sylvia, sorry, with University of the People. The ones that are in um, this light orange color, then you have you can do them outside. All right, so let's move on now to your general courses. So these are your major courses that you need to complete. All of your other electives can be completed with Sophia Learning. College algebra you're required to do. You can do that with Sophia. Introduction to statistics, you are required to do. You can do that with Sophia Learning. You're also required to do a writing course of values and, eth and ethical 
uh, course, a civilization studies course, humanities, social sciences, and natural science and technologies. These fall on the general education courses. Now, you can look at the different categories on SOFIA and choose different courses, but these are the ones that I um, that, that I completed. So I did um, for English Composition 2, you can either choose English Composition 1 or 2 on SOFIA. Uh, for ethics and social responsibility, I actually did this directly with university people, but you can do it on SOFIA. It is on SOFIA as Introduction to Ethics. Greek and Roman civilization, you can actually do approaches to study studying religion. This is this falls under the category civilization studies, culture and belief. Uh, for world literature, uh, that's another general, it falls under humanities and you can do Spanish or any other course that is that falls under humanities to, to, to um, satisfy that section. Visual communication, this is one you can do as well. Um, emotional intelligence, um, introduction to psychology, public, well, I did emotional intelligence directly with university people, but you can replace it with public speaking or any other social and behavioral science courses. Um, psychology, I also did with Sophia. Um, environment science, environmental science, you also, I also did with Sophia. So all of these courses, all of these that I'm looking at right now under general education, these can all be done under Sophia Learning. And you're not required to do these exact courses, expect, except from college algebra and statistics. Those are required. The rest of them, you can kind of switch it up based on the different category. So on Sophia Learning, you'll see the different categories. So pay attention to that because the general education courses are required it's different from the electives, right? So for the, you have to complete, you have to satisfy some of these categories. So you want to be, you want to pay a keen attention when you're choosing your courses so that you end up doing um, these different areas that are required for you. And then we have, you have to do 12 additional elective. Now for the electives here, you can do literally any course. You can do literally any course for this section. So these are the ones that I did. Um, you can just take a look at it. You can pause the video and look through it. But these are the ones that I did for this section. But any course that you find easy, you can just do them and it's going to fall under your your electives, right? So uh, the customer service one, this is what I did with Sailor Academy. I got it for free. So you can also check out Sailor Academy if you want to get some free courses. The thing with Sailor Academy is that the courses are very boring. It's very hard and it's rather strong-willed. Sophia is much better, but um, you know, if you want to save on some money, then definitely you can check out Sailor Academy, but be prepared to, to put in a lot of work because it's a lot of information and the quiz, uh, the final exam is usually hard. So there you have it. You can do only 13 courses with University of the People because when you include all of these that are, that you must do with them, it's just 13 courses, and then you transfer 27 courses. You do 27 courses with Sophia Learning, which I believe you can do in two months if you really put your mind to it. You can do it in two subscriptions. Um, if you really put your mind to it, you can accomplish that. And yeah, when, in less than two years, you can finish your degree. If you push it, you can finish it in one year, but computer science courses are no joke. I can just imagine how difficult they're going to be. So, you know, I would not try to do more than two courses at a time because you don't want to fail. So don't push it too much. <laughs> you know, do two courses per term with University of the People and then on your breaks and, you know, downtime, try to do as much course as possible with, you know, with Sophia Learning. All right. So if you would like, I don't know if you're using a phone or a computer to watch this video, or if you're able to see this clearly. However, if you would like me to, um, to send you this, I can send this to you if you'd like. If you're doing computer science and you'd like to see this, I can actually send it to you. So you can, um, if you go up to my, my description on my page, you will see my email. You can send an email to that requesting it and I'll send it to you. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope that this video was helpful and yeah, thank you so much for watching. You have a lovely day now. Goodbye.